The gold mask of Tutankhamun is recognized as one of the world's most famous works of art. Made of solid gold and weighing some 25 pounds, it's a masterpiece of early goldsmith's work. Its value is priceless, but who really knows what it symbolizes? Howard Carter uncovered the mummy of Tutankhamun in the autumn of 1925, three years after he discovered the tomb of the pharaoh. Covering the head and shoulders of the mummy was this magnificent gold funerary mask of unrivaled beauty. Funerary masks had a long tradition in Egypt long before Tutankhamun's reign. They were first used around 2100 BC by commoners. Back then they were made of painted cartonage. It became common for mummies of Egyptian kings from the New Kingdom to be interred with a golden death mask. However, aside from Tutankhamun's mask, only one other royal mask of solid gold is known to exist, that of Susenin I from the 21st dynasty. That's some 300 years after Tutankhamun's reign. Apparently, all other gold masks had been stolen by tomb robbers. Tutankhamun's gold mask was crafted of multiple pieces. The face is a masterful example of chasing technique, and its features seem to express a feeling of sadness despite the pharaoh's youth. The eyes are sharp and animated, fashioned out of pale quartz with pupils of black obsidian. Thick inlays of lapis lazuli outline the eyebrows and the eyes. The chin bears a long plated ceremonial beard, which juts forward and curves up at the end. The beard was considered a divine attribute, indicating the pharaoh's godlike nature. The gold mask of Tutankhamun is framed by a nemes, a special striped headdress depicted here with inlays of blue glass. The nemes could only be worn by the pharaohs. Commoners could never wear this kind of headdress. Gold was considered the mythical flesh of the shining sun god, Ra. Since the king represented the sun god in the heavens, both in life and in death, the vibrant blue and gold stripes appear to us as an azure blue sky pierced with golden sunbeams. The headdress is crowned with a vulture and a cobra, the symbols of Upper and Lower Egypt. Here, they're fashioned out of gold with inlays of glass, carnelian, and lapis lazuli. The lobes of the ears, each shaped differently, are pierced for earrings. Below the gold face of the mask is a wide collar. It's embellished with semi-precious stones and pieces of glass. Each end is topped with the head of the falcon. A falcon also symbolizes the sun god Ra, with whom the king shall now become one. The sacred hieroglyphic text on the back of the mask contains a secret spell from the Book of the Dead, protecting the head from evil spirits. One last question remains. If we saw the real Tutankhamun, would we recognize him? Well, perhaps we would. But the mask is not actually intended as a faithful portrait. It shows the king in an idealized form. The Tutankhamun depicted here is immortal and divine, his features rendered as imperishable for an eternal lifetime as the reigning sun god of the heavens.